This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. An intense search in Chula Vista after a bounty hunter is shot by a fugitive with an assault rifle started just before nine last night near East J Street when a group of bounty hunters went to serve a warrant on a man named Christopher Marquez. Bounty hunters say that he pulled out a rifle and shot one of them twice. He then jumped into the bounty hunter's car and drove off. Police and SWAT still searching for Marquez, who is considered armed and dangerous. Bounty hunter who was shot was taken to a hospital. Well, this week, a judge cleared the way to allow more students to return to campus. The ruling coming after the state shot down plans by three North County districts to start welcoming back students. The judge's ruling will essentially clear the way for the plan that they had in place, gradually bringing back students to in-person learning. Small groups coming to campus first one day a week and then later two days a week, all regardless of where San Diego is on the state's tier list. Well, after administering more than 200,000 shots, San Diego County's first vaccination superstation will shut down for good after this weekend. Now that the state has greenlit fans to be in attendance at 20% capacity, the cardboard cutouts will be replaced by real people and they're going to need real parking spots. UC San Diego Health says they'll try to fit in everyone who needs a second dose at Petco or at one of their other sites. Let's get a check on our weather now today. Megan, how are we looking? Well, things are drying out today after a pretty potent storm brought quite a bit of rain, snow, and wind yesterday and even early this morning. Though it will remain cool, temperatures about 5 to 15 degrees below normal, mid-50s to low 60s along our coast and inland neighborhoods, 40s in the mountains with 70s in the deserts. And we will see a, maybe a chance for some sprinkles, a few stray showers over the weekend as a storm passes by to the north of us. We definitely need it as our deficit continues to sit at over four inches. Before we get to that, though, we will be warming up for the final days of winter by Thursday and Friday. Highs will be back near normal. Jim? For the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.